Thanks, Dan. And thank you, Bruce. And thank you all for coming. And I only have 15 minutes allotted, and the internet is a big place. So I'm going to go at a bit of a gallop. You can find me afterwards. I'm happy to answer questions. Um, I had a hard time coming up with a subject title for this, and I came up with leveraging your social network online, because frankly, what you're working towards and what anybody should be working towards is a social network. The online part is sort of an after add-on. And the question is why? Well, all industries are the same. People hire people. Jobs don't hire people. You've never gotten a job by walking up to it and saying, hey, Mr. Job, come get me. So the question that I'm going to uh, try to answer here is, how do you get the right people talking about you at the right time when they need someone to fill a job? Here's the old way and the new way, side by side. The old way is send out a resume, pray, call everyone you know, keep praying. <laughs> Didn't work exactly, but let me not cast aspersions. This still works sometimes. In addition to these things, and this is all an in addition to, now you have a big social network. You've got everybody in this room. You've got the people that you know. And I'll talk about some of the people that you know that you might not even realize that you know. Um, you have the ability to use them, use the people they know, and create virtual billboards for yourself to point other people to. So the first thing you need to do in this entire process online, and then I'm going to just dive right into it and gallop, so bear with. The three questions you have to ask before you do anything else is, who are you? You know, but not sure how well you know. What are your skills, and what do you offer to somebody else, and what do you want to do? What do you want to do, from my part, I generally speaking suggest write a personal job description of the job you want. Not the job you have, the job you want. Write the skills, write it as detailed as possible. That gives you two different things that you can do with it. One, it focuses you. And two, when you reach out to these people in your social network, you can say, well, this is what I'm looking for, and these are my skills, and this is how they marry up. All right, straight into the meat. There's a four-step process. This is basically how do you find people, how do you let other people find you, and how do you then get the word out? Step one locate your existing network. Like I said, everyone in this room, everyone you know, everyone you've met, I'll talk about each of these in turn. Two, uh, make yourself visible online. I'll show you a couple of places you can do that. The internet's a big place. You can uh, be as creative as you like. Three, uh, expand and maintain your existing social network. The people you know know people. The people, you know, the people uh, that you know also uh, you're not necessarily as in contact with as you could be. Uh, and finally, once you've done those things, start to broadcast yourself both to your own network and to other people's networks. So diving right in, how do you locate your own network? Does anyone in the audience know how many people total they know? I have a current running count. My number is reasonably high, and I have two running counts. One of them is on Facebook, because they automatically count that for me. And the other one's in my personal address book on my computer, and that is my go-to place for everything I ever learned about anybody. I can't talk about it in detail, but I'll get to why address books are important in a moment. But in addition to the people you know directly, you know a bunch of people in your social networks. Nothing here is new. You know your fraternity brothers, your sorority sisters, you do volunteer work, you know a lot of people. Question I have is, is your list up to date? I had about 100 people I hadn't heard from in over a year. So I sent them an email the other day. I wrote a little template email and I said, Dear, and then I filled in each person's name. This is what just happened. I just graduated from grad school. What's going on with you? By the way, is this email address correct? And is the rest of this information correct? I got back about 50 replies on that, which is not a bad strike rate. Um, I keep up to date with the people that I know by, via email and being linked to them on uh, these social networks. And that's why I suggest the first thing you should do is uh, create an online address book. Join Google Mail. If you're looking for a job, find, uh, uh, create a new email address for yourself for the job, add everybody you know to it, and send them one of these just touching base emails. Let them know you're looking for work. There's no reason to, uh, to leave anybody out, everyone you've ever met, everybody you've ever uh, spoken to. And if the contacts are dead, so be it. But if they're not, keep it going. Um, and the most important piece of this is this here, this locating your network, is what you're going to build everything else on. Once you've got your contacts in Google, um, you can start following up. I won't have time to talk about these things, but if you want to know about them, sending your v-card and using a smartphone, we can talk about them after. But once you have your email list uh, in place firmly, the next step is making yourself, putting yourself out there. Um, joining social networks, Friendster, uh, I'm sorry, not Friendster, I keep saying that. 
show of hands, who here was around when they were using Friendster and who here has an account on Friendster still? <laughs> Absolutely not one. I see one, two. That's fantastic. Okay, so we'll skip straight ahead to Facebook. Um, anybody here have a Facebook account? Okay, handful. LinkedIn, ballpark same handful, and Twitter, just, for, just so I can, okay, that's fair. Um, you should all be on these things. And they got, a lot, uh, they got really bad press early on because they were seen as for kids. They're not anymore, they're for adults. I'll get into each of them in turn. Again, these things I'm not gonna have time to talk about. This is part of a larger talk, uh, but do come find me afterwards. Um, you should familiarize yourself with the three key job hunting networks. LinkedIn, which is considered the most professional of all of the networks. Um, question about rise in the academy, but LinkedIn is well known as being uh, business and professional. Post your resume there. I'll explain how in a minute. Use LinkedIn answers where people ask questions and you respond to them and get recommendations from your colleagues. Similarly, Facebook and Twitter, if you're not there, you can't be found. The most important thing here is allowing yourself to be found and finding the important people in your industry. In turn, Facebook, if you don't have a Facebook profile, they have an easy online help. They spent over a million dollars doing a bit of quick math. A few people for a few years to write help will come out to over a million dollars. Create a profile for yourself. Only write professional information. Don't post pictures of that crazy weekend you had in St. Kitts. Professional information only. The reason for this is that people now are searching Facebook for not only you, but for people like you. They want to find people who went to college with them the same way I found Dan. Frankly, I found Dan through one of the uh, earliest social networking systems, which was my alumni database. Um, it's the same principle. An alumni database is the same principle as Facebook. Create a profile, add whomever you know, and uh, then you can start expanding your social network by joining groups that are relevant to your uh, professional experience. And uh, there are applications on there. Just Google the word application, or I'm sorry, Facebook search the word applications and a series of apps will come up that allow you to send out information about yourself, find like-minded people, and, uh, and generally see what's going on in your industry. Has anybody not heard of Twitter? Okay, so at least we have a baseline. Um, everybody's familiar with it. If you're not on it, I again suggest getting on it. Get on it in a professional way. Put your professional face on there. Don't tweet about what you had for lunch. I don't care that you're going to bed and nor will your colleagues. But we will be interested in finding out what you're working on, what you're looking at. And if you're not working on or looking at anything, start looking at things that are relevant to your expertise. Have something interesting to say. Post it to your Twitter account and then start following the thought leaders in your industry. Using the Google Mail address book that you just set up several slides ago, you can start following everyone you know on Twitter. It gets more and more complicated, but the robust application of Twitter, the, the most important thing you can do is once you're on there, once you have a following, you can start using the Twitter search to find topics that are important to you, that are important to your profession or your career. You can start following the people who are talking to them and you can start getting into a dialogue with these people who you potentially didn't know uh, or if you did know, potentially you didn't know what they were thinking about. So that's a very, very fast slide on Twitter. Um, finally, uh, of the three social networks to get onto, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is basically a very robust uh, version of your resume. In addition to posting your resume, you can ask people whom you've worked with at specific jobs to post recommendations for you about how you did at that job. In fact, someone in the audience wrote a very nice one about me um, for a job I did a while back. But it, once you have these recommendations, other people can see that you're vetted by other people. Um, one of the, do I have it on here? Yes, one of the secret strengths of LinkedIn, and this is something that not a lot of people that I'm aware of are taking advantage of, but there's a thing called uh, LinkedIn Answers. People post questions relevant to your industry and your expertise. If you post responses, it puts you on their radar, whereas before you may not have been. Um, you can also download all of your contacts, most current information from there. It's easy. Again, ask me about that uh, otherwise. I'm sorry, afterwards. Finally, uh, when you make yourself visible online, set up a personal homepage. I can't stress this enough. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to have a ton on it, but you need to have somewhere to, po to point people to. You don't want to just point people to your Facebook page, your LinkedIn page. If you have, if you have a, a non-unique name, come up with a unique 
brand identifier, but put something simple up. It doesn't have to be more than just your contact saying, click here and you can email me. Um, these things are very easy to do. It's inexpensive. It's about $10 to buy a domain and about $20 to host it for a year. Uh, once this is there, people will, be, will start to be able to find you and contact you. So that's a, that's a very fast going through the um, getting on social networking. Here's expanding your network. Um, you know who you know, and a couple slides back we set up who we know. Now, who do you want to know? Who's in your industry that you don't know yet? How do you find them? Well, they're all, in these, uh, they're all on these social networking sites. You can search for them. You can add them. Uh, and also important is to know what you want them to know about you. Uh, your existing network, both the people involved and the organizations you're in are probably online already. It's just a matter of typing in the name of your church, synagogue, or mosque, typing in the name of your fraternity, and you can find a whole bunch of people who are like-minded and willing to help you. Um, and, and again, uh, something that I'm not seeing a lot of people use is, uh, is anyone familiar with Google Alerts out of curiosity? One, two, three, four, five. We got five total, maybe six. Google Alerts, Google in their effort to uh, categorize all information everywhere all the time has set up the ability to get an email once a day telling you anything new and interesting about anything you list. How does that apply here? Well, if there are people in your industry who you want to find out about, put their name in. Anytime something comes up about them, suddenly you've got their name, you've got whatever they've just done, and then you can contact them and ask them about that trends in your industry, you can follow them that way. It's very simple. Um, finally, once you're online, people you know, you know uh, the people they know, start to broadcast yourself. Um, and I don't have a ton of time left, but I will very quickly say the LinkedIn Answers is a almost secret stash of places that people can find you. Yahoo has a similar uh, Answers site to LinkedIn, although Yahoo's Answers are more broad-based than professional. Um, eHow, similarly, there is software that we can talk about afterwards that will help you do all of these things. Um, there are, as I mentioned before, applications on Facebook that'll help you specifically with this social networking. Um, finally, the most important thing I can tell you is to follow up or fail. You're going to meet a dozen people here tonight, two dozen people here tonight. Find them online, and I, I propose, and my next slide is my name and uh, email address, but I propose that you start finding everybody else and add everyone you know online. Send thank yous via Twitter to people who, are, who say nice things about you or do something useful via the at symbol and then their username. Um, update your Facebook status saying thank you regularly. Just make sure that people know who you're in contact with and be in contact with the people uh, who could be potentially helpful to you. And that takes me in under 15 minutes. I do. Uh, I, I will be here afterwards to answer questions. Um, if there are any right now, I have about a minute left. But otherwise, I'm ready to hand on to Dan and uh, move forward. <laughs>